The TriCaster Extreme models feature a variety of audio enhancements as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Now these audio enhancements are in two places. The first is inside of the DDR. Now the DDR clips inside of the TriCaster Extreme will have a small speaker icon in the lower right hand corner if there is audio attached to that video clip. Now you can control that audio on a clip by clip basis. Left clicking on that speaker will bring up a fader and allow you to fade the audio for just that one clip. So you can normalize the audio on a clip by clip basis. Or you have the ability to right click on that clip and there are a variety of audio presets including the ability to mute that audio from the context pop-up menu. Now other audio enhancements can be found inside of the audio mixer. Now the TriCaster Extreme models allow you to do audio grouping so you can create groups of audio inputs. As you see here we'll add these first two audio inputs to our green group and the second three we'll put into our yellow group And we have audio follow videos. Now all of the audio that was attached to these two inputs will fade out. And all of the audio that was attached to any of these inputs will fade up, allowing you to have groups of audio inputs automatically follow the transition during your live video production. Now another great enhancement inside the audio mixer is every input and every output has seven band EQ and a compressor limiter. Now there's a small gear right here above every input and every output. So you can click on that gear, it's going to bring it up, it gives you the seven band equalizer and the compressor and limiter controls for that input or output. Also notice that there is a speaker icon here and clicking on that speaker icon is going to mute that input on the audio mixer for you. Also remember that there's an auxiliary audio output. There are two separate audio outputs on the back of the TriCaster. The main program audio output and then your secondary auxiliary audio output. And this secondary aux audio output is configurable and you can send individual internal audio sources or groups of audio sources out or even use the audio groups that you have created. This means that you can send out two separate audio outputs of one production from one TriCaster. This means your main program out can have full audio for program out, but the secondary audio output could have a different audio mix. You could omit one of the audio sources from the main program output to have a separate audio mix coming out of auxiliary out. It's a great feature available inside of the TriCaster Extreme.